alone. In another language would the messenger unto Israel come forth, line by line, precept by precept, the strong and mighty one to pull down all distortional understandings of love. And it's time to destroy with the word of Jeremiah 110, Haggai 2, 2, that God would tear down all misunderstandings so that we could shine as the stars that we've been fearfully and wonderfully created to be. Oh, I got my, yeah, my little uh, tree falling on that. It's time that we have a little prayer on our lips that will ascend unto the heavens and come back down like a rain unto us. For it's time for the Lord's word of truth that'll shine in the darkness. So let all overcomers of God's love now have eyes to see that it's time for new words of his hope to come forth. That is what Christ meant when he said that unless his word came forth anew, uh, no flesh would be saved unless time itself was cut short. Only God's word opening anew could do that. And only God's word has opened as Daniel 12, 9 has foretold clearly that it was only closed until the time of the end. Why? Because of his message of Malachi 3, 1 that would come forth to prepare his own way through his message. He was the writer of his spirit to the only kingdom age prophet Jeremiah, who was appointed to tear down all not born of love. So let all overcomers of the Lord God now have eyes to see that it's time for new wisdom to be heard, which is in harmony with everything that is written. However, many souls won't need to be reminded that his words of uh, love have not arrived to this earth from uh, uh, heaven's special delivery, but through, through this man speaking in this video, because the Lord has blown his best kisses unto me to in turn give them away to the earth that does not desire to hear any of it. And so I will preach to the nothingness of ignorance. Someday somebody with any wisdom will hear these recordings of the one who the world has forsaken and ignoring. Uh, as Isaiah 49, 4, 4, 2, for I've done everything in vain. It was never Christ. He was going to send unity that he prayed for in Gethsemane. He knew we would not unify, but he knew his word would do that. So praise the Lord for new understanding. And if the inspired canon that is now open, the, the word of God is open, and if the canons don't open, if the shattering of the power of the holy people will not obey the scriptures, this world will end up being destroyed. The shattering of the power of the holy people is the revelation of the kingdom age veil being lifted for all mankind. And if the inspired canons here are not heard, then people, um, only if they are heard, would people be able to even be empowered to put on the essence of its highest praises uh, upon their hearts so that their hearts can finally break Christ's love through flowing through us as many raging rivers of the ocean of his adoration that is pouring out of heaven's uh, floodgates upon all flesh is what will save the earth, God's love in us. For love is not of itself, it is of God, his gift for us because it is the spark of the divine. It's the spark of God in all of us. So hear the Lord now because he only desires to fill everyone up with his most glorious kind of happiness and overflowing joy that they could ever be willing to have. Only he gives blessings unto those that he wants them to have. And it's time that it's a, a world where no more fears and tears, festering ones, it can be done away with by our perfect love casting out all fear. Mickey and Minnie know the secret and it is the heart of our God, it is love in the midst of us. So it's time 
Fear not, O oh, people of honesty, that this work of the Lord's influence isn't a new translation of some previous message that he long ago sent. It is a new message sent unto uh, earth through his everlasting gospel writer, yea, the writer of the everlasting uh, flying scroll, Zechariah 5, the everlasting gospel, Revelation 14, the writer. Uh, the vision was written plainly on the tablets, so all those who readeth it may run Habakkuk 2.2. 2. The writer, one like Moses, a kingdom age covenant giver and a writer, uh, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, a writer, the strong and mighty one who would be like a destroying storm, pulling down strongholds in the name of Isa Yeshua, Jesus, through his kingdom age prophet, Jeremiah, who was appointed to tear everything down, not born of his unconditional love. So the, these messages is a continuation of what has already been written. And it's written in a way that will, would only mock the devil if he hadn't already been removed in the days of the banishment of the days of Elijah, uh, because God would have been made into a liar by the devil if that had not held true. So no more can he mock anything, complaining that it's not fair that such an undertaking of the revelation of revelation, the mystery of God being over as it de is declared in Revelation 10, 7, that such, it's not fair the devil would be saying that it comes forth with such overwhelming truth and encouragement for everyone of hope uh, alive who, who loves the Lord with all their hearts. So let Muslims, Christians, and Jews arise as one Abrahamic faith of love in motion. Be not in the land of the walking dead, having a form of, of love, but denying the power thereof. Let not your love become as a, a broken flower which petals were crushing by letting your love wax cold, where reducing it to it being just a now not alive. Leave the land of the walking dead. Begin uh, walking as a child again of the faith of a little child and the love thereof in action as a verb is what we all need. That is born again according to the Lord. So therefore know that these are the days when the Lord is doing something mighty in the land. And people need to ask themselves a couple questions. Could the body survive without a head? I have come bringing the mind of Christ to people, and people don't want to know. <laughs> oh, blasphemer, heretic. And meanwhile, I'm bringing God's word to the earth because he's saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught in this, says the Lord God Almighty. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest, all whose love is alive and as a verb, as a little child, be as a little child. Did not Jesus declare that he's the head of all believers of love as God's Messiah? What he? So let the Lord's faithful few now come to see that this revelation is the prophesied one of Habakkuk's vision that was authorized to come forth, bringing forth the glory of God to cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the lands, as sands cover even the most desolate of deserts. And in the wilderness of our ignorance, the Lord has prepared a way where there has seemed to be none. And all calling upon the name of our Lord shall be saved. His name is love. And those bending their knee to love shall be bending their knee to Christ. For every knee shall bow at the name of love, and every tongue shall confess love whom is Christ the King. Our majesty of majesty, he now arises in the splendor of his own magnificence. This is the Christmas season that is the most special of all, one that is witnessing his last messenger coming forth, Elijah, the, the um, Shiloh of Genesis 49, 12, who's either red and dull or wine, the alcoholic of Habakkuk, 
uh, one transgress by one, but the just shall live by my faith, even though my soul has not been upright, because I am already as hell, and I can never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto our living Lord Jesus Christ, who is love in the flesh, Emmanuel, God with us again soon. And through this last message of his most perfect peace, of the preparation thereof of his kingdom age arising, with his love fully understood as transcendental among all peoples, the Lord God is now allowing all of his people to, to keep their faith in his love strong if they will only keep their ears open and close not their hearts. Uh, for it is the final time that the Hebrews is being ushered in, the days of Elijah where they have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3, as it is clearly written, after Islam becomes Chrislam, as Muhammad said in the Hadith, that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. It is Chrislam, the name of Israel, now that they have inherited all mankind. For the covenant has been given to all flesh, so that God be not a respecter of men having favoritism, or else he would be a sinner, according to his own word. And know that now doth our Messiah of the ages come, our carpenter of the ages, whose tongue is the rod of his mouth, the hammer of God. And he has decreed to tear down first before building up. And all those ignoring this channel are ignoring him. And all those spitting at this channel and me as a false prophet are spitting in Christ's face in Gethsemane when he prayed so passionately with all the compassion he can muster up and empathy for a dying world, that we would unite as the brotherhood of love. The prophetess Baba Vanga said that all religion on, pra on planet Earth will collapse, but what will replace it is a sea of like white lilies across the world, a brotherhood of love to usher in the kingdom age, the golden thousand-year period ahead that has begun. Uh, God always does great things, starting in very little ways. So let it be stressed that whosoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. But I am more than anything else, not just a prophet. I am the messenger of Yeshua HaMashiach, one who comes with restoration in my mouth for all things. And I am the messenger of Malachi 3, one, the messenger unto Israel that they have inherited their kingdom age covenant so that God is the God of all families of Israel as it says in Isaiah oh, excuse me Jeremiah 31 1 so praise God but more than that I am the messenger uh, of the prophet Jeremiah he is the only prophet really that this world mainly he was the main kingdom age prophet uh, because destruction coming from the strong and mighty one uh, right line by line, precept by precept, would pass his message along, and God would tear down all kingdoms of man, Jeremiah 110, all of not built upon the imaginations of the truth of his unconditional love, for it is fallacy and error for people to believe that love is not unconditional. I have unconditional love for my kids. They could kill 20 people, and I'd still love them. I mean, I like them at the moment, but could a man have love that is superior to God? Because many parents, their kids have done horrid things, but they still love them. Love is only irresistibly desires to be irresistibly desired. So know that the head is nothing without the feet, and the feet is nothing without the head. Yea, the very smallest members of Christ's body are necessary and useful to the whole body working together, and all are under one common rule for the benefit and protection of the whole body and all the souls therein. The spirit behind this work is a spirit of praise and spirit of love, hope, and peace in action that the world does not want. They want to continue living in an age of spiritual racism where religion is dead. No one wants religion, and religion has become an evil thing. 
God wants the faith, the charity, and the benevolence to stay and get bigger and better. Alatra unto the highest heavens. That is a group of people from all religions standing together as one, uh, bringing forth a movement of goodness in this world. Uh, check it out. Google it. Alatra. Uh, know that this shall be found to be a work of praise like none other that's just waiting, ignored by the world waiting for hungry believers of love to receive it as food for their soul that will help them grow stronger than strong has ever possibly meant before. But those who bend their knees unto our living Lord Jesus Christ Almighty need to comprehend that this everlasting gospel of his worship of prophecy of Revelation 14 shall always be free electronically uh, to everyone desiring his newest light and age, ages, to uh, point many unto his love. And everyone who asks for this blessing shall receive it if just by sharing these videos by the Lord's predestination of his end time revelating. And know that if you want revelation, who is the lawless one? It's more, he is death. He is the sword swallower freak show who would die by a sword in Revelation 13 and become the Antichrist. He's got the 666 on his wall. He's adding 150,000 new subscribers every month, preaching a message of uh, apostasy and uh, atheism. I'm preaching truth and no one will listen to me. <laughs> Dr. David Awar, the false Elijah of this earth, um, claiming that he is Elijah, but he's called down fire in front of multitudes as Revelation 13 has proven of the world's false prophet that tr traditional Christianity is not what God wants. God wants to pull down the strongholds. Uh, so praise the Lord that uh, it's time for no restrictions in the Lord's word. So praise unto our beloved who who has, through his revelational power of truth, he's finally sent forth his prophesied flying scroll of Zechariah's vision by the alcoholic Joshua. Yeah, read Zechariah 3. You know, it's clearly seen that he is a, a bum. And that was me. And uh, <laughs> our righteousness is as filthy rags, and so is all of our understanding. But I am the alcoholic of Genesis 49, 12, whose eyes are red and dull of mine, and I hold the scepter of all authority. The alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, one transgressed by one, but the just shall live by my faith, because it is God's faith of the equality of all his angels. We are angels in the flesh. Jesus said we were God's people. Figure it out. We were told that we were going to be as angels, neither male nor female, it's because we always have been. The first are last, the last are first, and the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. And that is why we shall judge the fallen angels before us. For we are all angelic in our creation, and uh, we can be angels or we can become demons and commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting our love life go out, and then we shall be no more Time memorial shall have no grave stone for our spirit because we shall go into the hottest fires of, of hell's uh, most fervent furnace. And now comes the time for love to become a fierce curse unto all hateful terrorists who, is, who are lusting after the bloodiest murders of believers of love. But believers of love must readjust their definitions of love. For all those walking with the Spirit are under no condemnation if they are people of love, with their love moving as when they were little child, with their love alive as a verb. So let their inf infamy now be redefined for every person frowning upon this word of the or Almighty's most awesome majesty, who is our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons, people that cannot hear that aren't even worthy of the blessings that he's presently offering everyone through this kingdom age channel of meat on the mountain of Isaiah 25, the latter day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, where people shall beat their sword into the spirit, the distortional into the clear seeing. For we shall now shine as the stars the wise may, 
No more shall we have to look through glass darkly and know only in part. So everybody that is sick of all the evil in this world done through in the name of religion must come with me because it's time the wheat and the tares grow not together. It's time to go out into the deep. The wind of his blessedness is full and the tide of kingdom age understandings is with us if we will just go out to the deep. Deep calls unto the deep. And do not be as shallow as a glass of water because you can never hold the ocean of his adoration that he's pouring, pouring out the floodgates of heaven. His living waters flowing as the mighty Niagara gushing his beneficence and his love of uh, his beloved magnificence of his benevolence uh, and charity and good tidings and best wishes for all of us gushing forth with it for all who can receive it. Uh, for this is his dove of love. It shall be a great shining light of mercy, his mercy unto all peoples. So thus saith the Lord God Almighty, Behold my holy presence herein. I shall now finally do the new thing that uh, Isaiah foretold. I shall destroy all religion upon earth as it has been and raise up a spiritual fields of white whitest lilies that shall take over this earth and bring forth the harvest of love and so I therefore repent saith the Lord that the name of Ishmael was left out of scripture but it was done on purpose there was a veil across history that has now been removed and I am evermore the Lord God of Abraham Isaac and my beloved Ishmael, as well as Jacob, my servants. So it's time that I shall now declare my word of promise. And for that reason, my, my servant of uh, the slave of Isaiah 49, whom Daniel has embraced his destiny to be, he now strongly declares this. Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, prepare the mind and ready for a spiritual medics. For God's end time word shall blast the crap out of infidels who become the Antichrist by standing against God's glory of his overflowing love and honor, brought forth the fullness of understanding by his most regal eagle of the eons, who is his most graceful dove of love with healing in the wings as our son of love arises, for he is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. Such fools can call the Lord's New Testament corrupted if they want, but the truth is love will always win, and he is love, and he has won. He has made a way in the wilderness for this world to get along if only they will hear his word. So moreover, this gospel, everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, has absolutely no mercy over unbelievers of our risen Lord of love, living way of ways that is only found within his love as a child. The love of one little child shall lead us, and one shall become a thousand. So let the most sacred body of Christ now hear the undiluted wisdom of Elohim. And it is now coming forth the prophesied days where all men can hear the Lord say, I am he that leads all people into truth. For I am the Lord God who divided the waters and turned them into blood. I am both the giver and the gift, the spirit and liberty and the bridegroom who is soon returning for my bride. For I am Isa, I am Yeshua, I am Jesus, a triune identity and yet one. Daniel am I, Shiloh am I, Elijah am I, Joshua. Zechariah 3, the alcoholic, am I? The one foretold whose eyes are dull and red of wine, am I? All one and undivided. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one and undivided. A name by any other name is just as sweet. So know, therefore, that our risen Lord of God is the rewarder of all seeking him. For the Lord God, our roaring lion of Zion, now roars and declares this. He says, I am the black battle standard, the black standard that will have death come unto lovelessness. So it's time that we understand new things. 
must be for the old things will all pass away. Don't do it.